That night, hundreds of fans and ordinary New Yorkers gathered around the Dakota in a spontaneous demonstration of grief, unity, and love. On the morning of December 9th, across the Atlantic, 17-year-old Julian Lennon embarked on a painful pilgrimage to pay his last respects to the father he'd just begun to get to know. I felt I had to go to New York to see it for myself. Yeah, I had to witness it. To understand what had happened. For Julian, the pain of his new loss opened an old wound. So I was left twice, is what I felt. Very much so. He never, ever had the chance, I don't think, to hear his father say, I love you, and for him to say, I love you back. Just missed it, they were that close. Sean knew. Julian missed it. On the morning of December 10th, with her stepson Julian by her side, Yoko gently broke the news to Sean. When he finally got to grips with it and understood that he was dad was no longer going to be around, you know, uh, you know that was tough. I mean, tears beyond tears.